How is it going guys? Drew Peacock here back with another video and today we have the next upgrade to my 92 SI and these I've had my eye on for a while now and I found a decent set at a good price sort of a good price, a pretty good price. I don't know, we'll talk about that in a bit. But um, let me just show you guys what we're gonna be installing today, as well as a couple other little goodies if they do arrive on time. So if you guys haven't seen my last video, we went ahead and dynoed this. She is now ready to race. And one thing with racing is, you gotta make sure you're fastened down. You gotta make sure you're secure. And these Del Sol seats just don't keep me secured. My butt isn't staying planted like it should be. You know, my nice cheeks are, ma are making a nice press in there but they're not staying planted so i went ahead and i got a set of recaro Le Mans confettis and these oh my god period correct as ever they're going to look so good in it i like these because they have the confetti upholstery and it just looks so period correct like it's gonna match the inside of the car so well but it's not too in your face like if i take a couple steps back can't really tell like i mean i could in person but if you see him in the car nobody's gonna be like what is this what, what is this pride month seats what are these no they look nice they look period correct um they are used so we are going to be restoring them really quick or just cleaning them i should say i don't know why i'm trying to get all fancy saying restoring i went to AutoZone. we're gonna be cleaning them don't don't get your expectations high we're gonna see if i can transform them to look a little bit more clean i guess i mean they look clean already but like the lettering up here looks a little dirty uh, hopefully i can make the colors pop a little bit more so um let me go ahead and get started on that i'll walk you through my process and we'll see how good they look i don't know this is what we will be working with today if it is garbage i will be sure to let you guys know and you guys will see from the results if it doesn't do jack shit i mean it could be the seats just being old or uh it could be this Shit, I guess we'll find out. Not sponsored, so I will be honest. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is go get my vacuum and just, and just give them a quick vacuum. They're not super filthy, so I don't think it's gonna do a whole lot, but just get all the loose stuff off, and then um, I'll start with the cleaning shit. All right, so really quickly, one of them already cleaned, and one of them I have not. Just so you guys can see the difference already. I mean, this one, the black looks more deep. It might be because it's so wet, shut up. Um, but the colors also, seem to pop and they're a bit more vibrant where this one they seem a bit more, more tonal i mean in person you can you can definitely tell a difference but uh yeah i mean it looks pretty good it doesn't look dusty this one looks a little dusty and uh this one doesn't so uh let me go ahead and show you guys what i exactly did for this you'll need a bucket of hot water the cleaner and then a fabric brush and it's pretty straightforward i'm gonna try to show you guys the difference in color because it's really apparent right here this color the reds look way more pink and this one, they look way more red. So hopefully that's not just because this one maybe got less sunlight than this one. Um, but we'll see as we clean it because that one looks a lot nicer. It looks really, really vibrant. This one looks more dull. Yes, I'm wearing my Crocs. Suck it. All right. So the first thing I do is I go ahead, shake up the can and then just go to town. Get it nice and foamy. We all like the foam. Get it nice and foamy. Look at that, I actually go all the way around the exterior, bring it in, get it nice and foamy. I really want the white lettering up there to come back white and not yellow. I'm not expecting it to look brand new, but get it nice and foamy, you know? I don't know if there's too much you can use, but that looks pretty good. Then you get your water bucket, nice warm water. I don't wet it too much, I actually shake it out a little bit. Get my tools nice and wet over there. And then you just start. <laughs> Going to town. See, see how there's no white or foam right there? We can fix that. There we go. With these, it's hard to do with one hand. So let me go ahead and continue this off camera. All right. So after you scrub it, go ahead and get your microfiber and then just dry it all out. Uh, you'll, you'll stop seeing the suds when you're good. Um, if you still see suds or whiteness or anything, or you see dirty spots and you want to rehit it, go ahead. Um, I already dried mine, but yeah, I just went over it. The whole thing, wiping it down, getting all of the water off onto those two microfibers. Um, and as you can see, hey, we got some dirt out. I mean, they weren't super dirty to begin with, but we got, we got a little dirt out. They were a little crusty and they do look a bit better already. Um, now let me do the back and we'll toss them in the car. 
All right, so they're both cleaned up. They're both mostly dry. This one, I was able to get the lettering a lot more white than this one. So I'm going to try scrubbing this one a little bit harder. Um, but both of the colors look vibrant. This one is a little bit more vibrant. But overall, I mean, they look a lot cleaner. They look a lot newer than when we first got our hands on them. So now I'm going to go ahead and rip out the Del Sol seats. Probably vacuum the interior since I won't have the seats out probably for a while. And we'll install the chairs. I mean, these were cool. They just like they don't go up enough for my liking. Like the seating position is a little bit too relaxed. So I don't know, but I like them. All right, we got a couple 12 millimeter bolts four, I believe, holding it on. And of course, I'm struggling with one hand here. So let me pull this out real quick. All right, I got the seat out. Now I got to go ahead and take off the mounting brackets, I guess, and uh, see if they will fit on the Recaros. I, I have doubts, but we got to try. Well, long story short, those seat brackets do not work on those seats. So we must continue this when I get the new ones. So I'll see you when they arrive. All right, well, for now, those might have been a disappointment, but I know what won't be this let's go ahead and install it so the reason why i got another steering wheel is because of two things one i think this one will give my legs a little bit more room and on top of that i have two cars with quick disconnects now and only one wheel which means i can't drive both at the same time so if this breaks down and i need to go save it with the supra i wouldn't be able to do that so um let's open up this one and we'll look at the differences this is the one that i'm rocking right now let's go ahead and see how the new one uh holds up all right get her out of this come on this is difficult i made a fucking mess uh where is the opening there we go so you guys can already kind of get an idea of the shape of this one sorry that's my nuts to hold this thing oh i almost ripped out my tooth <laughs> look at that Ooh. okay all right now okay well i don't want to do that i gently laid this one up here please don't get upset with me so here we go here's the differences as you can see I'm probably scratching the face of that one no i didn't okay we have a circle versus a i don't know flat bottom a d-shape whatever you guys want to call it uh, i don't think anyone on the face of the earth calls it a d-shape but yeah we have a flat bottom wheel versus this one so this one the flat bottom will give my legs a little bit more room, which uh, when you're six foot, you know, I'm not a short king, sadly. So I need all the extra inches I can get. Not like that, but uh, yeah, so this one will give my legs a little bit of uh, extra room. And um, this one also is like a suede or an Alcantara material. So it's like it's got extra grip and uh, wow, it just looks it looks bigger than my other one. It's not because if we match up the faces, they're both 350 mils. I kind of want to get a slightly bigger one for the Honda, um, but we'll see. I don't know. Let's go ahead and swap over the hub and let's try it out. All right, so here's a before with the old wheel. As you can see, my knees are kind of close to it. This is about my seating position. It's pretty close. It's not like super in the way, but like my hands would totally clunk if I was trying to like, you know, swing the six Civic. Um, so let's see how it is with the new wheel. With the new wheel already, my knees can now touch each other without touching the wheel. And I was not able to do that before. I didn't adjust the wheel anymore. Literally, I can now touch my knees together before they would touch the wheel before they touched. And um, yeah, I mean, it's totally a lot better. I kind of wish this loop was a little taller because I feel like it blocks my view even more now. But this wheel isn't even meant for this car. It's meant for my Supra. So let's see how it looks on that. All right, so yeah, in the Supra, it's a thousand times better, like a thousand times better. I'm so happy right now with this thing. Before, it was totally like you would feel it, touch your knees, and it was just awkward. Now, oh, perfect. Like it is, it's so perfect. And I'm wearing fucking thick ass Crocs right now, and it's still so perfect. Wow, I'm happy. Happy with this purchase. Two weeks later. All right, two long weeks later, and the wedge seat brackets have arrived. Oh my God, I have to clean them again because they've been sitting in my garage. 
All right, sorry it's a mess, but we finally got the brackets on. I'm gonna vacuum the seats again because they were sitting in here for a couple weeks. That is the hood for the Subaru, no sneak peeks at that. Um, and then we gotta install them on here. Um, I really hope you guys didn't see the Mustang. Chris, if the Mustang was in the shot, go ahead and blur it so they can't see it because there are some special things there, but we gotta toss them in. I gotta pull out the Del Sol seats first, so. Let me quickly get to that. I'm so excited to finally put these in. Like they've been sitting in my garage for two weeks. I don't know why it took so long for the brackets to come, but they're finally here. Super excited. I literally haven't driven the car since I ordered the seats or since I ordered the brackets because I've just, I want to drive with the seats. Got out the passenger seat and side by side. You could clearly see why one would choose the Recaro over the Del Sol seats. There's nothing quite wrong with the Del Sol seats. It's a great budget option. But this has way more support, way more bolstering, way better fabric, way better design. Um, this just looks like 90s Honda, which is still cool. Like I'm, I'm, my boy's gonna come and buy them off me. That's cool, but uh, this is this is gonna look so much better inside you. Oh. All right, I put the first one in, and already, dude, that looks way nicer in there. Like that is so period correct. It looks so perfect. Uh, I haven't sat in it yet. I'm very excited to do that, but we got to finish the other one. Um, we got to put this one in. I'll actually set you guys up so you can watch me struggle and put it in. It's really easy. Um, clean your carpet beforehand. Let's do it. All right, you guys might be seeing a whole lot of ass crack, so I apologize, but I got to get this bad boy in without scratching anything. Uh -uh. Fit in. I didn't have to modify the other mount at all besides grooving the slider a bit, but going to the floorboard actually went straight in. I also think it's easier if you start with the largest bolt, which is towards the back right here. So I'm going to climb in and start there. So let's do it. All right, I got that one started. I'm now going to come to the front and line up the opposite corner. I don't know why. It just seems like doing it like this makes it easier. If you just work your way around, usually when you get to the last one, it doesn't line up sometimes. So this uh, almost like cross tightening, you know, they all go in very easily. Thread them all the way in with my finger. So just makes sense. See this one didn't line up. At least not yet. Let me see. All right, I got it started. Perfect. So now I'm just gonna snug them up and we'll be good to go. Oh, hell yeah. All right, let me show you guys up close. Dude, that looks so fucking good. Oh my God, I gotta sit in it. I have to sit in it, you know? Gotta break it in, gotta let one rip. Oh, oh dude. Okay, let me turn this around. Way more comfortable, like 100% way more comfortable. I am blown away. I have plenty of head clearance up here too. Um, it's like a perfect seating position. I gotta adjust that one for my driver position, but dude, way better. Oh my God, look at that. They look so nice in here, like that shit is so period correct. I love it. I knew I had, like when I saw these, I was like, they're gonna look so good in this car. And the good thing is too, if I ever decide on selling this car and the owner doesn't wanna pay the extra for the seats and like he just wants to throw in something else, I could totally take these out and put them in the Supra and it'll be just as period correct and look just as good in there. So honestly, um, I'm super happy with this purchase. They look so good. It's the most expensive seat I've ever bought, but uh, I look at it as an investment because it can either be sold or go into one of my other cars. Nope, oh, can't show the Mustang too much, Chris, but uh, yeah, these seats have seen some better days, but they're not bad, they're not bad, but these are by far the most comfortable seat of satin yet, so love it. All right, so what I'm gonna do right now is get cleaned up, clean up my mess in there because I have a giant mess. Um, and then we will take the Civic out and I wanna drive it and experience it. I haven't driven the car in quite some time, so hopefully it starts up, um, but I'm super excited to finally drive around in these seats. Let's go have some fun. Got the car all washed and as I'm drying, it starts raining. Beautiful, you know, gotta, gotta love it. I mean, I guess I could have seen that coming, but all right. 
let's go and let's go for a cruise and let's see just how comfortable and how nice these seats are. I'm actually really excited for this. All right, guys. So um, it is raining a little bit. My windshield wipers don't work. Hopefully the audio is pretty good. I've never really tried recording like this and talking at the same time. Pretty much I have the 360 camera um, in between my legs held in with the seat belt and um, my sweat. So it's not really like fast and fast and but it is at the same time. Like it weirdly works pretty damn good for a good POV shot. Um, I invented this, don't at me. Anyways, so uh, I'm sorry if there's rain droplets on the windshield. Like I said previously, I don't have windshield wipers in this car. I am tragically sorry for that. Um, but honestly, the dude, so far, I mean, just if, if we pan over to this seat, let me get this little uh, lens cap off of it. If you pan over to the passenger seat, it looks absolutely beautiful and it feels just as comfortable. Now, if we turn the camera to my face, I look like an idiot. So um, yeah, I'm also driving with a camera directly in front of my face. So trust me, everyone else sees me as an idiot as well. But dude, I, I am so happy so happy that I finally got these seats and I've been wanting them in for quite some time. Um, I've been seeing them in my garage as I've been working on the Mustang, the Subaru, all these other cars that they've just been sitting there, not only taking up space, but just taunting me because I have yet to put them in and I finally was able to put them in today and I'm so happy with it. They honestly feel super comfortable. Like, like they, they hold you really good. Uh, this, this is by far the most comfortable seat I've ever sat in. Um, at least that comes to mind. Like the super seats are pretty damn comfortable. Those Recaros are, uh, but these I feel like are just a little bit more soft than those. Those are a little bit more firm, which are, I mean, they're great seats, but these are, these are really good. I'm really happy with these. So we'll get on the freeway. I don't have the bottle open uh, for obvious fucking reason. It's raining out. It doesn't sound like a good idea. So we'll get on the freeway. We'll just see how they, how they feel, you know, just cruising around and stuff. I wish I can go out and do some more stuff. Maybe tonight I will. So stick around and maybe we'll go out and play around if it clears up a bit. But uh, as of right now, I sadly cannot open the bottle just because it, just, it clearly isn't safe. It's clearly not a, a wise move right now. You know, I do own a Mustang after all. So um, those bad habits might infiltrate even though I am in a Honda and it's front wheel drive. I mean, the, the spray might be a little bit much. I'm actually going to put my seat a little bit more forward. Um, how do I do that? I got to find the little triangle and I'm, uh, I can't do it right now. Okay. I found it. It's way back there. I can't do it right now. I'll do it later. Um, I don't like reclining a lot. Uh, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of it. I like being in a more upright position. I feel like I can drive a lot better and I'm, I'm just in a better seat. So, um, yeah, and they're comfortable. They're, they're absolutely comfortable. Okay. I'm going for it. I'm pulling my seat a little bit forward. There we go. That's a bit better. Yeah, dude, they're super comfortable. I know I need an alignment, guys. I'm sorry. I know I do. I've been putting that off. I, it, it's, it'll come eventually, you know? I'm also debating, and maybe you guys can let me know down in the comments what you guys think would be cooler. I want more power out of this car. It's not gonna be anytime soon, soon, but I do want more power. Should I go with a turbo setup or a supercharger setup? I'm honestly on the fence between both. I don't wanna make too much. I only want about 450 wheel horsepower. So I think a supercharger will easily do that. I could still keep the bottle too. Go supercharger and some spray, just do like light boost. I mean, that's not a bad idea. Um, I just don't know how crazy I wanna go. Like that's, that's my only thing. So I, I, I wanna hear your guys' input though. What do you guys think, turbo or supercharger? If I'm only trying to make 450 wheel horsepower, that's an extra 120 from what I'm at right now, 130. So not a bad idea. Wow, it's really starting to come down. Luckily we are moving at speed. Luckily we have decent tires. Actually, I wanna say good tires. Um, any, other, any other vehicle, I'd be absolutely screwed right now, but we got some decent tires. The only thing is everyone else around me is kind of an idiot because uh, SoCal and rain don't mix very well. But uh, yeah, so far the car feels great. I mean, I only changed the seats, you know? So I, it's not like it's gonna feel faster, but I'm way more comfortable driving it. My seating position is a little taller. Um, so I, I, I do like it. I do kind of got to adjust my wheel because of that, because I am sitting a little taller now. There we go. Eh, too much. There we go. I think I went back to the where I was. 
Um, it's just because I need to be able to see where the 8K is at so I know when to shift. And before, I couldn't see it. So now I, I, I could see from 6 to 8. So it should be okay. You know, if I got to look around the wheel a little bit, you got to do what you got to do. So happy that this car is like, you know, where I want it to be though, man. This, seeing this thing in, the, in my garage, it's depressing. You know, it's like, I feel like I failed you guys. I feel like I let you guys down because it took forever, but we're finally, we're finally like in it. And it's like where like, I'm actually kind of like really happy with the car. Like it's become one of my favorites um, just because of how like fun of a car it is, you know? God, I wish it wasn't raining though, so I could show you guys just how fun it is. You know, I, I might do a little baby pull, but I'll, I'll go on the streets to do that because I really don't want to, uh, really want to, I don't want to die, you know, sorry. I know all the, the cringy car memes make it sound like every car guy's sad and want to want to end themselves, but yeah, that's just not the case. That's, that's, that's not how it is. Sorry, TikTok. I also feel like though, back to the supercharger turbo talk, that if we do do a supercharger, um, the instant torque, would be more fun like having that instant like whoa, you know like start going i do feel like that would be more fun than having a turbo lag i mean i doubt it would be much because it is going to be a small turbo but i just think it'd be a little bit more fun you know and then like the instant torque of the nitrous on top of that like yeah traction won't be a thing but i mean whatever it's it's, it's for fun you know and then it's like i could also have like you know a tune without the the, the nitrous on just like i do now then a tune with the nitrous on so i would assume maybe 350 without spray 450 with spray you see what i'm saying it's starting to add up a little bit more i think i'm gonna go and swipe my credit card because it sounds like a whole lot of fun that uh i'm missing all right we'll go ahead and we'll exit right here um this is where i used to work funny enough I don't know if anyone that I used to work with still works there, but uh, yeah, I used to work uh, right over there, right at Penske Chevrolet. Look at that. I kind of got to blame that for getting me into cars because that's kind of what did it for me, you know? Like I was into cars before that, but like that's what really got me into knowing like what I liked and I really liked like muscle cars because of like working there, so gotta thank them almost for this channel because uh a lot of this wouldn't be possible without having that like experience i guess you should say from working there not like i was a tech or anything you know i was just a fucking porter but uh still hey look we got a little rsx brother right here i mean he probably thinks i'm just in some fucking b20 swap but look at that little rsx very cute very very nice looking all right, um, this, I know this area pretty well from working around here, so let's give a little downshift. Get on it a little bit, you know? Woo! I mean, it's still fast. It's, I don't know if you guys could see, but it pulled my wheel. Um, it's still pretty quick. Uh, don't know why it stopped recording right there, but, uh, I do wish we kind of had the spray on because there's a nice 535i right in front of us. And I have a feeling without the spray, we're not going to stand much of a chance. Although it is raining, I, I will say he probably will spin. But, um, yeah. Uh, come at me, bro. I'm totally in a race car. Definitely wouldn't expect any of this. But no, um, as I was saying before the camera shut off right there, um, dude, that, that, the pole felt pretty damn good. Not gonna lie, the pole felt pretty damn good. Um, even without spray at 220 horsepower, this, I mean, it's still plenty to have fun with. In a, in a car this light, still plenty to have fun with. Now, I'm not shitting my pants like I am with my Mustang and shit like that. And I don't have a, a solid erection like I would in my Supra. But um, it's still enough to, you know, make you giggle, make you have some fun, you know, make you question um, if you're going to survive or not. It's still, it's still plenty, for especially for this car. 220 in a Mustang is, is <laughs> laughable. 220 in a Civic that weighs 2,200 pounds, 2,400 pounds, not bad, not too shabby. Random question. Um, I used to have a series called Tuner Talk where I would answer questions, like car-related questions that you guys asked. Um, I feel like reviving that series. I feel like um, I get a lot of questions that I don't have time to answer and I don't know where to answer them. So I feel like Tuner Talk would be good again. The only thing is, is it highly 
relies on people watching the other series so they don't ask the same question. So it's like, let me know what you guys think. Um, obviously, I could go over like quickly some of the questions I've answered in the past. Like if you guys ask them again, I'm getting a lot of those questions. But uh, I feel like that series you guys really liked because, uh, you know, it helped out a lot when people were trying to figure out certain things, you know, whether it be what way to go with their car or um, what mods to choose and stuff like that. So, oh yeah. Sorry, I'm not orgasming, but I'm, I'm damn near, you know? It's fun, dude. This car, like, it's scary how fun and how fast this car is for so cheap. Like, oh my God. Like, I, I'm not going to sit here and say Hondas are the greatest thing ever because I still don't think they are. But if you build them right, they totally are worth it. Like, 100%. But it's just sad that no one does. And then they still, like, are, you know, have that toxic nature. It's like, dude, you're in a fucking B20 non VTEC. Like, don't raise your voice to me, you know? Like, you have no word to say. Like, yeah, it's a swap, but you only swapped it because you blew your last motor because you never fucking changed the oil. Like, that's, that's where I think people, like, have this negative connotation towards Honda owners. And it totally makes sense because, yeah. Oh, dude, look at that. Wow. Horns on the fucking hood. Anyways. Um, it totally makes sense that like that's why they get a bad rap but if you find one that's like built right or you build one right like it, it'll change your opinion on them for sure and th this one totally has for me because I, I totally like can now respect a Honda um, because of my experience building this one like it's a fun platform to work on it's like a Lego a giant Lego car pretty much um, so it's super cool. It's super cool to uh, experience that. And it's, it's like, yeah, like I said, I still don't like think that like it's the greatest car brand ever. But it's it's totally um, earned my respect when people build them right. Like it totally has. And it could be for any car. But uh, I feel like Honda just has such that huge negative shadow overlooking it that people are afraid to own one. And it, just build it right. Just don't buy one and don't bark the loudest when you got nothing. Start barking when you, know, you got a little something done to it at least. And I'm not talking about an Amazon intake on your shitty B20, okay? No B20s. I mean, you could build a B20, don't get me wrong. But I'm just saying, you know, if, if, if you're rocking a stock B20, don't raise your voice, okay? You, you should be quiet in the back of the room. Anyways, I'm going to head back to my house. And I'm going to wrap up this video, man. I'm, so, I'm super happy with how far the car has come. And I'm still going to do some more stuff to it. A lot more stuff to come. Um, I got to tackle suspension probably before I supercharge it or turbo it. So, um, yeah, I got to do that. will probably be next. Anyways, I'll see you guys at the house. Actually, I'll do one more poll and then I'll see you guys at the house. Okay, so I'm seriously debating on doing the poll. It's starting to rain a hell of a lot more. Oh, I'm getting cut off. Um, at least we're not in the Mustang over there. That would be absolutely terrifying because, uh, yeah, that, that, that's not going to handle all that well. Um, I still want to do it. I know we're just going to bang off red line, and, like, that's kind of, like, the point. But uh, it's kind of scary now. Like, uh, I, I can't see too far in front of me. I uh, want to let you guys know. Hey, look, it stopped raining. It's like... Okay, um, this is, this is going to be where I would do it. Let's see. Uh, I don't think this Nissan's going to give me any room. I mean, I could just downshift a second and just give her the beans. I mean, we're not we're not gonna move. Uh, come on, Honda, what do you do? Or Nissan, get out of the fucking way, bro. You're like, okay, it's raining, dude. It's a, li a little water. You're not gonna die. Come on. Today, Grandpa, I'm trying to go home today. This is embarrassing. Look, look at this ca this Camry, the O2, gapping him. Come on, man. Okay, well, I don't, I don't know if the poll is going to happen. I wanted to do it there. I don't really want to do it on City Street, so I guess I'll just see you guys at the house. This is... Ugh, God, SoCal drivers, man, don't know how to drive. All right, guys, luckily it stopped raining so I can wrap up this video. Um, this video took a lot longer to record than expected. I didn't expect to wait two, three weeks for some seat brackets, but it is what it is. Super happy with the outcome, though. Honestly, my favorite set of seats I've bought so far. I could see why they fetch a pretty penny. Um, I think they absolutely do just like complete the interior of this car. Sorry for the mess in there. That is the uh, 
camera I was recording with, and there's the thing I was using to hold it up. But uh, yeah, no, man, they, they, they look so good in there, like so perfect. I'm happy with it. Probably my favorite purchase so far, besides obviously the motor. But yes, anyways, that is all I have for you for today's video. I have some big stuff coming for the Mustang. It's already installed. I just can't show you guys yet. And big stuff coming for the Subaru as well. So hopefully you guys are excited. If you are, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you can flock to the videos with everyone else. And until next video, peace.